Koge, hello from Tokyo. It's my first work travel for the year and it's cold. It's so cold. Aside from the fact that there's the N 2019 NCOV, a new cor novel coronavirus um, in Japan, I'm here because of a business trip. So I arrived uh, at 4 p.m. at Narita and it took me two hours because I took the airport limousine bus and it took me two hours to get to this hotel which is called the Via Inn Nihonbashi Ninyocho and this is the first time that I'm in this hotel but I am super hungry so I went to the 7-Eleven, which is very ubiquitous here in <clears throat> Tokyo, I mean in Japan, as well as other convenience stores. So I, it's the one opposite this from the hotel. And I went to get dinner. Time check. It's almost 8. It's 7.58. So I got... Um, so <clears throat> one of the things that I was worried about was number one, Will I be able to continue my intermittent fasting? And the answer for today is no, because I'm super hungry right now and I should have started my fast like two hours ago. And number two, will I find um, vegan or plant-based options or at least I'll follow my routine of not eating red meat, dairy, and um, what was that? Chicken. Yeah. And chicken so one of my worries was that it was going to be difficult or challenging to get uh, plant-based options but um, I was presently surprised because I found this so let me see if you guys can see it clearly yeah so as you can see it's a salt grilled salmon so I like, love, 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 love salmon, but I like tuna more. So I was so happy that I saw this. I saw mackerel as well. And I'll probably try that tomorrow for breakfast because the breakfast in this hotel is super duper expensive. And I'll probably not eat at that timing anyway. So what else did I buy? Um, I bought some mixed nuts for when I feel like snacking. So it has almonds. I think it has macadamia nuts, uh, cashews, and walnuts as well. So I feel like I have a snack instead of reaching for potato chips, which I didn't buy, by the way. Uh, and mom, if you're watching, I did not buy the potato chips. So <clears throat> I'll use the nuts. And because my throat is super dry, I also bought warm jasmine tea, which I am going to open now. And I'll take a sip. Super good. I like that it's warm. It'll help my throat. It is cold. Like I, when I arrived, it was 12 degrees Celsius. And if you know me, I hate cold. Like the optimum, optimum, optimal temperature for me will be 23 degrees, which I know for some is not really that cold. Um, what else? Um, I also bought apples, uh, fruits, so I am not a vlogger and if I don't come up as articulate or interesting, it's because I'm just trying this out for now. Um, so I had, I have apples for my fruit, mm, a non-food item that I did buy was this, my lifesaver. So I was, bit, yeah like this so i was talking about being cold and this will save my life i will stick it to every part of my body that feels cold so if you guys don't know what this is so much packaging so this is like a warmer uh that you use so you can I, I think this is the one that you hold with your hands. It's not really the one that you can stick on. There's one that you can stick on and it just basically warms up your body. 
Um, for breakfast, I also bought something for breakfast tomorrow because I feel like I'm going to work late tonight. It's a Sunday and I'll probably work late tonight in preparation for tomorrow. I bought a shrimp salad. So, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge. Oh no, momento. Just gonna pop this in the fridge. And it will be good for tomorrow. And I am also trying out, although I don't know how to eat this without making a mess this it's a uh, you can see the reason why i bought it was the zero kilo calories um this is a what i hope will be some grape jelly like literally it's just like you know jelly so it's grape jelly i hope there's not much sugar in this but we'll see we'll see because even if it has no calories i don't know if it has sugar and last but not least, <clears throat> I bought one of my favorites, and I was so happy I saw this. It's um, candied sweet potatoes, so Japanese sweet potatoes with um, syrup, I guess. Yeah, it's syrup, and some black sesame seeds. I like this a lot. Uh, so... Why not, since I'm already here, let's just do a mukbang. So let me open up the salmon. So I'm just going to eat salmon tonight. Probably get... Should I eat the fruit or should I eat the candied sweet potatoes? I don't know. We'll go by the okay. Oop, yeah. So this is how it looks like. It smells, it smells like it's roasted, so they did not lie about that. But let me just, one moment, I have to sanitize. Yeah, so I have sanitized, I have my chopsticks, my face is so oily. So the interesting is with 7-Eleven, they give chopsticks and they also give... Um, toothpick Ooh. does this work okay they also give toothpicks because you know sometimes you can't help but have it stuck to your teeth so okay let's try this out it smells good but i like my salmon if it's not sashimi it's, i like it not well done i'm yeah i like it well done what am i talking about i'm just tired it was a six hour flight Okay, so let's try it. Hmm. Not bad. Taste. So it's very flaky. If you see it. Wow, that's a huge piece. So it's very flaky. It's well seasoned. Hmm. This is good enough for dinner for me. Probably um try a bit of the apple. Uh uh I don't know how to use chopsticks by the way. As long as I can pick the food up, I'm good. Uh huh. So this time around I took um Japanese Japan Airlines, so JAL. It was an 8 a.m. flight. Funny story. Ah, okay, don't worry. I was just trying to pull out. Oh, they gave me a spoon. Okay, I was like wondering how to eat the jelly. They did give me a spoon. I was wondering how to pull out all this wrapping. Okay, if I make weird noises, just ignore, just ignore. Oh, okay. One, two. Take a deep breath. Pull. Uh, 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 uh. 
got okay there's a little bit of oil here so i'm very very careful not to make a mess okay just the final <laughs> Wait, it, was, it was like just the final strip and it's like it's getting longer and longer as i pull no 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 okay <laughs> all right ah All right, so it has a little bit of oil because salmon is oily, but the good oil, I think, omega-3. As I was saying, I took Japan Airlines this time around. The, the first time I went to Tokyo, I took All Nippon Airways, cool plane. It was a Star Wars themed plane. I had R2-D2 seats. Um, and the second time I went to Japan, which was I went to Osaka in March last year. We took Scoot because it was on sale. Shout out to Joey. We took Scoot and this time around we took, I mean, I took Japan Airlines. Um, so far, I think they're comparable. I did, the one thing that is different though is that I am now eating more plant-based stuff or just getting my protein from grains, beans, or seafood. I actually ordered a special meal for uh, this trip. Excuse me. So I ordered a vegetarian, no, a vegan meal, which I'll post about in my i don't know which video will come first but i did um order a vegan meal so the vegan meal was delicious it felt like they knew my favorites which was tomatoes quinoa pasta uh, we had i mean i had why do i why do i keep saying we when it was just me i went i mean i went solo uh, what did i have okay so quinoa oh yeah they have eggplant. It was an eggplant salad with squash and pine nuts and pomegranate seeds. It was very delicious and a mixed bean salad and fruit and jelly. So I had that for my main meal and during the snack. So usually they'll just give you a piece of pound cake. But because I ordered vegan meal, what they gave me is like a vegan bread with pickled aubergines as a filling like a sandwich at first i thought it was tofu but it was aubergine i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly can i just say eggplant yeah so it was eggplant like pickled eggplant and there was like i tasted olives so it might be like an olive spread and sweet bell peppers that were a little bit roasted so it was a very nice snack like i want to have it again and i'll probably make it if I just find out what the ingredients are and so the food was great like I mean as airplane food goes I'm not, I'm not sure they'll be winning any Michelin stars soon for that but it was great I loved it I like the fact that I had enough leg room I mean I'm only like 155 cm so I always have enough leg room except for budget airlines and it was a two-seater, so I was glad that, you know, the row in front of me, they had two people fill up the seats and also at the back, but I'm so happy that I had no one beside me so I could um, put my stuff there and just basically be my messy self there and try to squeeze my body into two seats. I, I know, I know, it's not that hard, but I still had to fold myself. I did nap a little bit. I watched uh, some Netflix videos, like you know, the series called Explained. I learned about how diets don't work. Okay, I should eat this. It has been staring at me for a while. Um, what else? I did study a bit on the plane and did my um. I mean, wrote down my to do list for the week. Because I feel that like, when I wake up tomorrow, it will just be go, go, go for work. And I don't like to be stressed by those things. So I have had to do it. Apart from that, the flight was pretty uneventful, which was good. It was not as... Oh, oh. 
think I have a splinter. It was not as um, turbulent-y. There wasn't much turbulence. There wasn't at all, like in, like in our previous trips. Um, but... Hmm. Oh, funny story. I almost missed my flight because I thought... In my head. That my Sunday flight and my Thursday flight were at the same timing. So I thought that my flight today was at 10 a.m. So I was still up yesterday at 1 a.m. Or this morning at 1 a.m. Enjoying stuff. And then when I looked at the ticket again, it said my flight was 8 a.m. So I only had two hours of sleep because I couldn't sleep. I was so stressed that I couldn't wake up on time. So I slept at 2 woke up at four to prepare and i was at the airport by five which i didn't really need to because Changi airport in singapore is so efficient that i was in in the transit area at like within 10 minutes so surprisingly when i checked in there wasn't a queue so i was able to like check in my luggage go through immigration even if i didn't go through the auto immigration because there was something wrong with the machine so i had to do the manual counter it all took me like 10 minutes just to check in and do everything and just yeah so i went and bought like some supplements like vitamin c because you know coronavirus i wanted to look for masks but there are none i went to 7-eleven here and there were none so just have to religiously and vigorously wash my hands every time I go out or every time I touch something. So yeah, so after I landed, it was also pretty fast with the, I think the time I spent walking from when we disembarked from the plane all the way to oh, when I picked up my luggage. I mean, sorry, from I disembarked all the way to reaching immigration i think that took a longer time for me to walk than from immigration to get my luggage to go through customs and find wherever i can get the airport limousine tickets the walk was longer than the actual time i spent getting processed to be allowed into japan but on a positive note I did clock in 6,000 steps today, more than 6,000 I think. And after that, I went to get my ticket for the limousine bus. I should have gotten a flight that landed in Haneda so that I wouldn't have spent two and a half hours on the road getting to this hotel. But oh well, live and learn. Um, the next few days will be busy and I think, I hope I get enough sleep. Because the last time I went to Japan for a business trip, I got sick for a week when I returned. So, I don't know when I show this, but I did buy vitamin C. Does this work? Oh my gosh, it really does work. Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm scared of having a repeat of that. Mm. so what happens with this vlog basically it's just gonna be one shot i'm not gonna edit anything because i'm too lazy it's more like me making memories for this year i mean not like i did not make memories in the previous years it's more of like not just consuming stuff like not just consuming content or the things around me but actually making stuff now i'm not a video editor which is why i'm not gonna edit this video i'm just gonna post it like this i'll be rambling i don't care you don't care if you're watching me it's probably because you know me and you love me anyway but if you want more of this please hit the like and subscribe button since you're already on this video Mm, this is so good. <gasps> There's bones. Do you see that? Okay, sorry. Go, go. Yeah, those are fish. 
Okay, how do I do this? Yeah, those are fish bones. Can I eat it? No, I can't. <laughs> it's gonna stick in. I'm scared of like fish bones sticking on my throat. And I know they're just gonna be annoying, but I feel like they're they're gonna take root there. They're gonna be so annoying for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a drama queen thing. So, what else? Um, I'm probably gonna unpack soon. Then get a little bit of work done. And then, mm, business hotels in Japan. At least, whenever I go to Japan, whether it's an Airbnb or a hotel, they always have bathtubs. And I love bathtubs because I, like, you know, in winter, which is the season we're in right now, which I cannot deal. The best thing in the world for me is in whenever it's cold, is to get into a hot tub and just relax my cold and protesting sore muscles. So, this is what I'm looking forward to. It's like my reward. Mm, I should try the apples. Apples. I don't really know why they peel the skin off. Oh, yeah. I opened it the right way. Because... I like the skin. Sure, it's like a bit sour or bitter, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like an apple without the skin. Okay, what is with me? Oh! Okay, sorry. What is with me and packaging? <laughs> I got saved. Three minute rule. Accidentally ASMR. Wait, why is it getting oilier and oilier the longer I eat? So, apples. What are your favorite fruits? Mine would be pineapples, mangoes, green mangoes or ripe mangoes, I don't care. As long as it's a mango, I don't have a preference. But, okay, wait, I do have a preference. I like Philippine Carabao mangoes, if that's what you call it. The green ones. And then I like apple mangoes next. Mm. What else do I like? I like a lot of fruits. I like grapes. Hmm. Do you notice, or well, I don't know if you guys notice, but I noticed that I don't really have favorites as much as like when I was younger. Like when I was younger, I really knew what I wanted. Even though I had a very limited world view. But now that I'm older, I'm like, I'm just okay with stuff. Like, yeah, it's okay. I don't get to love, love stuff like before. Like, when I was younger, I really liked the color green. And everything I had was green. Like, you knew it. I was on brand all the time. Um, yeah, but I'm wearing green today. But now I'm like, I'm okay. It's okay. It's like, so boring. And so maybe I should try to experiment which ones I like and rate it according to just rate it. I don't know what to say. This is so good. And this is done. Yeah. Maybe I should finish the apples because I don't feel like eating this tomorrow since I've already opened it. <clears throat> okay.
So this is probably going to be vlog one. We'll see how it goes. If I can vlog for like every day. I don't think so, but it will be great if I can. Mm. No, no, no. My face. I don't have makeup. I mean, base or face makeup. I only have my brows, my eyeliner, and my lip tint. Let me finish this one bite and then I'll say goodbye properly. Okay, I caught it. I caught it. I should have gotten a knife. No. A fork. A fork. Alright, now I feel like I should chop it. Alright. So this is vlog one from Jujucation. And I'll explain why it's Jujucation in, a, in another vlog. So that I have enough content to last me. Vlog one. Done. Bye.